Hi, this is Dr. Ray Tahiri. Welcome to another SOLIDWORKS tutorial. In this tutorial, we uh, continue from the previous one, which we talk about simulation, and maybe add a little more uh, kind of complexity in terms of how to change the geometry in order to avoid failure. So the part you're making is very simple part. It looks like a kind of a boat shape or a mold with two ribs uh, in the middle. Let us start by uh, going all the way here. So we need to make uh, a shape like this. Starting by uh, a new part. Go to right plane. Make a sketch on right plane. Would be a hexagon. Get the dimension of 20. And uh, escape. This has to be horizontal. We will make a line here connecting this point to this point. Escape key and trim uh, entity, and you trim uh, this part. And this is the first geometry made. So I want to make two more of these uh, shapes uh, one bigger and one exactly the same size. For that, I want to uh, have it in different plane. So I go to right plane here and make a, another plane with a distance of 100 a millimeter from the right plane so this is done i go making a sketch on that plane space bar key perpendicular make another one from the same center the distance the dimension is uh, 40 in this case escape uh, selected horizontal done you go to trim entity trim this and then make a line to close this uh, geometry escape key done and once again you go to uh, reference geometry make another plane parallel to right plane in this case again uh, you want to go 100 more so it has to be 200 200 done you make a sketch on that plane perpendicular to the plane the sketch is going to be exact same size and shape, uh, shape as the first one. S key size is 20. Uh, make a line here connecting this point to this point. Escape key. Trim entity. You trim this. And here is your geometry. And finally, uh, what I want to do is, I want to connect these centers together, so I can define a plane, but this is very basic, so what I do actually, I go to sketch, and we haven't talked about this, I will have a lecture on that later on, but we go to 3D sketch, uh, select center line, and connecting this center to this, to this. So when you do 2D sketch, you have to define a plane, but when you are in 3D sketch, you can be anywhere uh, in the 3D space. And if you do know those points, it makes it much easier. So in that case, I did that, I connect them together. And uh, next thing I want to do, I go to uh, Loft, uh, Boss, so I have to select these sketches, Sketch 1, Sketch 2 and sketch 3 and I don't need to whether here I have I can select also my final sketch and this geometry has been made uh, I would like to shell this uh, size of 3 millimeter this size to be shelled this is the shape let's add a few fillet inside size of fillet will be 2 and it will be here, here, here let me do it here 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 and here done so, uh, next thing I want to do, as I show in uh, the previous one, uh, will be here.
you have this and then I add these two ribs in order to make these two ribs I have to make in a sketch and a sketch should be in a plane below this plane so let's just uh, go back to uh, what I have here and I define another uh, plane that plane is parallel to top plane but let me just come down here and I go 10 uh, below that so this is my plane here so make it perpendicular to that plane shift arrow key can rotate that and I make a sketch on that plane so making a sketch sketch would be line from this center to this center that's one escape key and then another line from this center to this center so this is what I have and then the next step is I go to rip and the rip the size is going to be 2 and opposite side so as you can see that it makes a shape like this and when you press it you have this made let me uh, hide my plane here it looks a little better now the next thing I would like to do, I would like to apply uh, loads and do the uh, simulation express analysis. So, the first step in simulation express is you have to define what part of this part is uh, fixed. So, because you have to have a static load, someone has to be someone has to be fixed. So, in this particular case, I choose all my uh, rib faces as the fixed one here, here, here. Here in total we have uh, eight. You have to be a little slow because sometimes the computer uh, is not as fast as supposed to be. So these eight are fixed. And the next step is I want to add force. I could add force or pressure. You have to define the faces. This face. this face, this face, and this face. So you have uh, four faces. What is the value? I put the 3000 Newton and this is done. Step next is to defining uh, a material. Let's go to aluminium and we use 6000 series which is fairly uh, Treatment, uh and high quality uh, aluminum 6061 it is used often in uh, aerospace so the high um, strength aluminum and now the step next would be to do the simulation run the simulation and of course when you see the simulation as we explained previously you see a little exaggeration of the motion it seems like this thing is like made from plastic uh, the displacement here is not an actual displacement so it does not represent uh, a real displacement however there are a couple of uh, graphs that you can choose in order to see how realistically these values are so might take a few minutes and here let's see what is happening here this is how it looks like so let me stop the simulation and these are the two uh, charts I'm talking about by the way wherever you see red here which are these areas these areas are that we have failure so failure means that we have load above yield strength and yield strength is a point that material start to they behave plastically. Obviously, when we have plastic deformation, we uh, call it failure. Uh, materials that have elastic and plastic, so elastic is uh, recoverable. It goes back to initial uh, shape, but when you pass that elastic zone, already you have changed the size, and therefore the design uh, integrity is not compromised anymore. So let me go to uh, this displacement. And here is what you see. So in these red areas, we have roughly about, as you can see here, 2.2 10 to minus 
two, one is one, sorry, millimeter, 0.2 millimeter of uh, displacement. And how do you translate that in terms of the load? Obviously, this material, the yield of strength is 55 megapascal, 55 million newton per uh, square meter, which is 55 megapascal. And anywhere above this line, which is green and uh, yellow and red, which are lots of these spots here, whatever you saw before, these are the areas that then you have failure. Now, if you want to modify that, let me just close this here. Or actually, um, yeah, let's just close that here because you have to do it. So just remember what we have. And remember the position of this here where we are. Now, I want to do a simple uh, change here. And remember, when I made the rip, I had this plane and I changed the, the geometry of the plane. I had a 10 millimeter below the top plane. Let's just make a top plane actually. As soon as I make a top plane, so um, well, we have an error here. Let's see, go back here. Uh, they can't go that far. So let me just. Uh, Modify that instead of here, I make it one millimeter, and you can see here now I brought up the rib, and rib is higher now. Let's do the same thing as we did, and I do it very quickly and see what is uh, the implementation of what I did here. So just simply go here, and again. You add a uh, fixture here, these are here, 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 and here, done. And next is adding force. Same force, 3000 Newton, and I put it in those four uh, places that I did before. Done. Next, use the same material, 6061 aluminium, right here. And finally, run the simulation. And I would like to see how much it changes. First of all, we talk about the displacement because uh, previously it was 2.2 10 to the minus 1 millimeter and the load was just about half day through. Uh, let's see what we see. And we saw there are lots of red areas which represent uh, the places that we have uh, load more than uh, what we can afford. Okay, so let me just continue here. So obviously you can see that this area has been reduced, by the way. So it used to be much more and now it's less. And let's just go to displacement. Displacement is a little increase, as you can see here, slightly. But what is more important here is this value. You can see that. We don't have as much as red that we have, and uh, this means this is better than what was before. So eventually, uh, by changing the geometry, you can modify uh, your uh, load analysis, and you can avoid failure. Uh, there would be much more complex. This is a very very basic uh, example to show how you can use the changing in geometry as a tool to modify your design, uh, I might offer uh, some other tutorial in uh, near future. Thank you very much.